What is going on, everybody? Gonna go through this one fast. The Lolly Variation. It's the only one that on move four, the pawn does not capture your pawn. Because the knight does. That's what makes it the Lolly Variation. There's a couple sub-variations on this we'll cover in the next volumes. White has two options. Capture the knight or the pawn. Both are good. If you capture the knight, the pawn will capture the knight. Your queen will capture the pawn before black gets to defend it. And black's only move that's on the radar that keeps him in the game and doesn't lose it is queen to f6. If they make any other move, it's self-explanatory. You should know what to do. Black has already proved that they're an exchange material kind of guy. I recommend my move, queen c3. Because if they exchange again, you can develop your knight to the proper square. And it covers your e4 pawn. Perfect. Last thing you want to do is capture their queen because then they're just going to have further development than you attacking your pawn. You can either defend it or kick the knight again and overextend yourself. Overall, bad idea. Move your queen, don't capture. Computer's best lines, push the pawn right off the bat. The queen's going to go, you know, one of several places. And the top move, even though the numbers don't show right now according to them it is is queen to e3 i don't like this move because of positional aspects of it they have the move bishop b4 check kind of forces you to play c3 and take away the natural development square of your knight you can't block it with your bishop because the queen will take your b pawn and take out your rook your best move according to the computer is to take the bishop and lose the rook you can't try something slick like, oh, I'll just attack the queen and everything's covered. No, dummy. Your bishop can't go that way. It's pinned, right? So you can't block with the bishop. If you block with the knight on this square, they can go ahead and exchange it with check. And you can either fuck up your pawns now, or you can exchange with the queens and then fuck up your pawns later. It's like the now and later candy, you know what I'm saying? That's no good. Or... If you put the knight on d2, they can just do nothing. And now your dark squared bishop is trapped. You can't fianchetto it because if you move your b pawn, your rook falls. And if you move your rook to b1, uh, then your a pawn is going to be nice and tender. And you're going to end up just pushing your c pawn anyways later to kick the bishop. So might as well do it up front. Bada bing, bada boom. Your only other option, other than killing the knight off the bat, is taking out the pawn. By taking out the pawn, you remove the defender for their knight, and it's already under attack by the queen. They gotta deal with that right now. They got two moves that can defend it. Both are horrible. If they do c5, you got bishop c4, doubling the attack on the f7 square. Their best try is opening up their light squared bishop by pushing d5, but you could just take it with the bishop, and now they got a block with the knight if they want to stay anything under point uh, plus 5. That's that. The only other move to defend the knight is bishop to c5. Don't pay attention to the computer because it's wrong. It's just zero. It's not in the system. If I waited here for a minute, it would click, boop, 2.3. We're not waiting. So... You're forking the queen and the rook. Black's best bet is to basically take out your e4 pawn in two moves. They can either go queen to h4 first. You take out the rook, and then they take out the pawn with check. Or another way they can do it is queen to e7. You take out the rook, and then they take out the pawn with check. Very sly line right here. Pay attention. I'm going to slow down. You have to defend with bishop to e3. Everything else will lose for you. They have the awesome move, knight checking your king, forking your rook as well. I know it looks scary. King d2. Once that happens, they can either take out your bishop with check. You want to recapture with the pawn. Or they have bishop to b4 check. And in that case, you want to block it with your knight. Okay? They will capture your rook. You know, they'll probably uh, check you first. Just take it with the pawn. And then they'll take the rook. Uh, you, you want to either take the knight or you can go ahead and slam out and attack the queen first. 
I know the numbers are buggy, but that's just what it is. If they do the line where they take out the bishop and you take out the pawn, and then they take your rook, what you want to do now is hit the queen with your bishop. Their best move is queen to e5. If they do that, you want to move your queen to f3, threatening a combination. Let's say they didn't pay attention. Queen f7 check has to go to d8. Queen f8 check has to block with the queen. Knight f7 checkmate. Awesome combo, right? So let's say they do see it coming. Their best try is to block it with the knight. Well, if they do that, what you can do is attack the h-pawn to free up the g6 square for your knight to escape. They can't take it with the knight because the whole, you know, schmuck about a bing bada boom thing. You know, and even if they went uh, here, uh, check, they would have to back up. You still got the check, but it's on a different square now. And if they block it, then you can either take the knight, or if you want to get real fancy and risk it, um, you got this whole shenaz. A lot of different ways that can go. So, that's that. That's how they uh, defend it. If they don't defend it, they got to move it. And by moving it, they got two squares that they can move to. They got c6 and e6. If they go c6, exchange. They're not going to capture with the d-pawn because you can exchange queens and they lose their ability to castle. Knowing that, they're going to capture with the b-pawn. Develop your bishop to d3, protecting the pawn and castle kingside. Their best move is going to be bishop to c5, hitting your f2 pawn, just castle. They're not going to move their knight to f6 because of being able to kick him with the pawn. They're going to move their knight to e7. You can do anything you want here. You could uh, develop a, any developing move is on point. They're going to castle, so you got two basically free development moves. Uh... Knight c3, queen e2, rook e1. Once your queen is on e2, you can put your dark squared bishop on e3. Try to exchange out bishops. Good game. And last but not least, knight to e6. Your best bet is bishop to c4. And they got a couple different things that they can do. Their best three moves in order are knight to f6. If that's the case, you want to go knight to c3. I know the numbers are hairy. Just deal with it. If the queen comes to h4, same thing. Knight to c3. If the bishop comes to b4 with check, you want to push c3. You Alternate move, you can put the bishop to uh, d2, but expect them to push a5. And if you exchange, it's really not that good because now they got a rook opened up on your a file. Regardless of what variety they choose, go ahead and castle kingside. You're very well developed. They're not. You're going to have an excellent game. Catch you on the next video.